Hi, Liz. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Uh, this is the channel where we're learning to live within our means, and you are watching week number four of our Budget Buddy series. So, Liz, uh, I'll let you go ahead and take it away for the week. All right. <laughs> Yay. So, we are on, well, I guess this would be like our third or fourth week of our cash budget because we started it after we first um, after we filmed our first budget buddies video um, it's been going <laughs> really well and I think it's really been helping us save a lot of money so um, so for this week we are over um, we're over budget this week um, so for um, groceries we weren't over um, we spent our fifty dollars there and then um, we're negative 25 on our other category. I'm negative five, and then Adam is negative 15. Um, so we're gonna make that up next week. Um, so next week we'll have $50 for groceries, no money for our other budget, um, $30 for me and $20 for Adam, um, and then $40 for gas. Um, so we, the reason we went over is because I stocked up on a lot of like diapers and formula because Target was having a like baby stuff sale. Um, so, <laughs> so that's why we were over there. Um, I'm going to grab my baby and you tell me how did you do this week? Okay. Yeah, guys. So Liz is being a complete rock star tonight. Uh, Adam is off working on an assignment. So Liz is doing parenting solo. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> so Liz is doing uh, the parenting and the, the, boss lady so um <laughs> this week so it's our last week of the month so Ooh. i went ahead and calculated uh two different categories i did um what i'm calling our budget which is so how dave ramsey and most of the financial people talk is that you have your budget which is what you have set where you tell your money where to go and then i have like the actual numbers of where we're at as far as income so like um and th if that doesn't make sense i'll kind of explain it so essentially for um our budget we were over for the whole month 62 dollars and 27 cents meaning uh we either have to take that out of a savings account or i have until the 31st to hustle it and either selling things or both picking up another job and actually having the physical money to make our income for the month for or for the budget and then for the income no i'm sorry i flipped that so that's our income and then uh the budgeting so where i told the money to go meaning you know if it goes into the bow fund the abby fund the grocery fund the gas fund that whole area is we were negative 210 dollars and 95 cents for the month so essentially that means that's 210 dollars that I told to go somewhere, meaning, you know, groceries or whatever, but it got spent somewhere else. Or it's money we should have saved or should have put towards debt that got blown through. Does that make sense? Yes. But then, so does that mean, though, that instead of trying to come up with an extra $60, you have to come up, up with an extra, like, $270? In a perfect world, yes. So, like, $270 would mean that I put like, so when I started the month, I told the money where to go. And then I, I wanted to fund more of our emergency fund. So like every month I'm trying to do at least $50 this month, we did a hundred dollars, but my goal was to actually do like, it would have, you know, maybe been like $300. And then I wanted to put extra away for Christmas or I wanted to you know, put extra on my target credit card. Cause that's the first, that's the next card we're trying to pay off in our debt snowball. So it's like that extra money where I said I was going to put $75 on my target card and I only put like 60. So then there's that 15 that okay. would have been spent on something else. Does that make sense? Yep. And we do all the time. We do that all the time too. Like yeah. You know, I was telling you um, earlier this week about my grand scheme of putting like $900 a month towards credit cards. Like that's yes. always the area that it's like, why don't I have any money to, to pay this off like I thought? And it's because we're just like blowing it on other stuff. Yes. 
And that's okay. exactly what happened. So yes, yeah, so for the month, I just need to come up with $62.27 so that we don't have to tap into savings. Mm -hmm. But ideally, it would be $270 so that we could uh, pay off extra and save more. Okay. Yep. What, what I originally had planned for the month. Um, yep. So as far as groceries, we I did not meet your challenge of the... Oh, no. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, groceries, we spent $81. Um, eating out, we spent eighty four sixty three between the two of us, which was seven trips. So between the two of us and it being seven days with it being seven trips, you know, it's like three trips a person. I know, I suck. I'm sorry. I didn't do good, Oliver. <laughs> I didn't do good. So, um, but yeah, all the other categories. So personal, we spent $30 and 57 cents. We bought vitamins for Bo and I, which we were negative on, uh, that put us over our personal category, $12. Um, Lily, her category only had $10 left and we spent 15. We took her to a community, uh, trick or treat. Um, uh, it was like a trick or treat and a little play. It was $5 each for admission. And then Bo went nutso on Christmas presents this month. Like, I don't know what happened. I had $100 budgeted for Christmas presents, which usually is the first category that we, like, nix. Like, if it's like, oh, we went out to eat too much or we did this too much, let's take from Christmas. Bo spent $134.50 on Christmas this month because Toys R Us somehow, like, sent him newsletters or something. I don't know. And he became, like, Miss, like Santa. So, I don't know. So, we have that. Um, but, yeah, do you want to talk about any wins that you had this week? Oh, I don't know. I feel like our biggest win was um, not going over budget any more um, than we already did. Because, like, we basically spent all our money on over the weekend. And so, mm -hmm. um, like, just trying not to, to spend you know, extra during the week. I'm trying to keep the computer away from Oliver, which is why I moved everywhere. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, this week went really fast, so I don't have any, um, like, amazing stories or anything. Um, we've just been, sometimes, like, fast weeks help because you aren't, like, bored and tempted to go out and spend money, and then other times they're the worst because you're super busy, and so you order pizza and stuff. But, um, yeah, pretty, just pretty um, non-eventful week for us. I also feel like this weekend really hurt us. This weekend was our downfall. We went to a festival and then we ended up eating out after it because we needed to still go grocery shopping and we didn't pack stack like we didn't pack snacks or lunch. We didn't think we we're gonna be out that long. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I can agree with that. Um yep. the only the wins I have was we are halfway to our emergency fund. And case okay. of a thousand of how much? We are at 500 bucks. Our emergency fund goal is 1000 Nice. That's awesome. Which this is like the first time in our entire marriage we've ever even had savings. I'm sorry to say that, but, you know, transparent. <laughs> We're just yeah. being honest here. This is what this is about. So the fact that we have 500 in savings is, like, amazing. Um, we paid extra on two credit cards. And... Yeah, we only ate out seven times, so we're rolling. And I did do some totals, and I don't, um, I'm pretty proud of this. Again, this is, like, transparent, no judgment. I'm so sorry to, like, the world. But so in August, I added up our food spending because I was curious to see, like, how this is really working because I can feel it working, even though, like, we've had some feedback about how it's like, oh, you guys are always talking about how you're over budget, and then you're, like, celebrating that you're over budget. <laughs> But here is like proof. So in August, our food between groceries and, and um, eating out, we spent $1,130. Oh my gosh. In, wow. In September, we spent $1,100. And wow. then this month, we spent $722. Man, so it is making a difference. But like, yeah. And what's your goal? Like 600 or what's, what's 600. the goal? 
four hundred. No, actually, five hundred and sixty. My goal is four hundred a month on groceries, and then one hundred and sixty on eating out, because that would allow us each twenty dollars a week for eating out, coffee runs, like <laughs> snacks, any of it. So my goal is okay. to get now from seven. 22 because like next week like i told you this month i've even been like buying extra groceries because i've been like stock freezer cooking so yeah to go down to my goal for, for november is like 650 december i'm hoping to stay under 700 because you know it's christmas and baking and all of that and mm -hmm. then yeah get down to 560. Nice. Yeah, that'll be, I mean, you're basically, yeah, you'd be cutting your, that in half if you get down yeah, to five. Yeah, I can't believe it. Like, I cannot believe how much money we spent and like, and how fast, like, you don't think it, like, you go out, you know, to eat maybe like, like, we would average probably like a sit down, a fast food, and then coffee. Like, so much of it was Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At yep. like $60 um, a drink, you know? Yeah, us too. I um, I my sister turned me on to the Starbucks app last Christmas, and like I yeah, because I would just like load money onto there, yeah. and then it's like, well, it's on there. You have to spend it, and it's like free money it's now like that I put money. it on you there. You spent it. Yeah. yeah, I know. So yeah, I'd be interested to see like how if you had a category because I know you you've always been a rock star at groceries. That's one of the things we talked about before we went kind of live with our are spending like an area that you typically overspent in before it'd be interesting if you could go back and look at like august september because september is when we started this with each other mm -hmm. and like we said i think in the last uh budget buddies it was like oh we ate out that sucks try better tomorrow like it wasn't like you know we felt really compelled to try so yep yeah, yeah, I will, I'll look that up because like, yeah, we used, I mean, with the cash, we've been doing great at not eating out and spending a lot of money there. And then our other downfall was like going to Target or like the home improvement store and spending like a hundred or three hundred dollars like right after payday or right after Adam got paid for like a job that he did. And so like we would stick to our budget, but then all of a sudden spend a ton of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. So, what's our goal for next week? Um. What's your goal? Is there a baby on the loose? Yeah. Hi, baby. So <laughs> broke. He broke one of my um casserole pans already tonight, or casserole. Oh no. Oliver. Uh, so one of my goals, now that it's the end of the month, um, I need to write out all of our bill due dates on my calendar, um, okay. because if I don't do that, I start missing stuff really quickly. And um, let's see. So that's like just a housekeeping goal. And then basically sticking to our budget. It's always tough when we're going in with like not with things fully funded. Um, <laughs> and I know um, Adam's been struggling just with the, seems like he's kind of consistently spending like $50 a week instead of the 35. Um, so it's like when you take it out of next week's, it's like, he still goes over and everything. So um, just seeing if there's anything I can do to like help set him up any better or anything like that. But um, cause I'm a pretty, I'm like a all or nothing kind of person. And so right now I'm operating on nothing. Um, you know what I mean? Like, but if I, if I did start spending money then I'd start a lot. So um, it's more just kind of like, this is just what I do or, you know, it's, I don't know. So um, just kind of, it's always tough when you share a budget with somebody else, like to be not even necessarily on the same page, but just like you got to um, help each other stick to it. Or if there's something that's really not working, like one of the things, <laughs> one of the things I, sorry about this cough. One of the You're things okay. I'm thinking that about when you were talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you were talking like, you know, at what point do you look at your categories and see, okay, is something really unreasonable and like way too low and, you know, but, but then also, yeah. um, or 
like in the past, I would get to this point and think of that way. And is that just enabling me to like get back into the same habits or something? Like, I think we're getting to the point, like we're at four weeks, you know, we feel good and we've saved all this money. And so now it's really tempting to go in and be like, well, we can probably like allow for a little bit more here or something like that. I don't know. I think I, think I <laughs> this is probably like a crucial point to um, to like really stick to, I guess, what I had planned instead of and like kind of reevaluate too, like if things are too low, because that's another thing they teach you a lot with budgeting. It's like you can't budget like for me, $50 a week for groceries would not be possible. So by doing that, I would always break it. So then you'd always feel like you're, you know, busting your budget where like, you know, and maybe for Adam, like, okay, he gets $50 a month for, or is it $50 a month or $50 a week for your guys' discretionary spending? Um, for 35. Like for 35 for each of us a week. 35 for each of you a week. Yeah, but we don't have an eating out budget. So it's like. So that's part of if he wants to eat out, that comes out of his money. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> so that would be like Bo and I. So I, I, I say like Bo and I will each get $20 a week for eating out. And then $20, I call it just like the Bo money or the Abby money. And the Lily also gets that too. And so like if she wants like a book. It's not really like a toys or anything like that, but it's like, for instance, like this trick or treat thing we went to, it was $15. Mm -hmm. And so like that came out of her fund, like her fund. So yeah, so that's something good to reevaluate too, is like with us, because I, between like now and the next couple weeks, <laughs> between now and the next couple weeks to just make sure that Bo just snuck by and he was like being real sneaky about it. <laughs> and, um, that are uh, the amounts that we have set are actually realistic. And then also not just like allowing us to keep bumping it up. Like I did, you know, over this month, it was like, oh, well, I went out too many times. So I'm going to take my eating out budget from 160 to 200. And then it went from 200 to 250. And then it went from 250 to 300. Like, that's not the point. So yeah, yeah, it's a good yep. idea. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I got to go <laughs> save my dishes from my baby. <laughs> okay. um, but uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Um, we do, like, a weekly check-in on our budget to just, um, keep each other in line. Um, so make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And um, we'll be posting videos, um, several videos this weekend. So stay tuned. Um, and then we will talk to you guys next week um, for our next episode of Budget Buddies. So good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Or whatever it, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Or that too. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. <laughs>